Hi, so I have a next question. Um, my name is Mora, and I'm an MS2 at Rutgers Robert Wood Johnson Medical School. Our next question is for Dr. Berlin and Dr. Velasquez, and this may be an extension from the previous question, but what does work-life balance look like and how do you manage your professional and personal commitments? Well, you know, I guess that question um, is really kind of answered by my last time. <clears throat> As you um, graduate into adulthood and uh, attending ship, you've got control over your, your schedule. You not only can you do and see the things that you want to see and, and, and create your own schedule, but you could take that time off. You can't do it now, but you'll have that time available at, at the end. There is a light at the end of the tunnel after all this hard work between med school and, and, and residency training um, that you... I'm able to do all the things that I want to do. I don't feel stressed for time. I don't feel uh, like I'm not getting enough sleep. Now, certainly there's nights on call where I, we don't shut down our next day because sometimes on call, I won't even have to go in. It'll just be a night on call. And then the next day I'll go back and uh, you know do whatever I have planned for that day. So I don't shut my next day down. So sometimes I, I get a big hit and I'll be up all night operating and don't have that luxury to um, shut down the next day. Sometimes I could ask one of my partners, uh, if I've really been, you know, if I'm really exhausted to kind of spring me, but for the most part, you kind of get through it. And you guys are at this point working the hardest. It does get harder as you get older to pull those all-nighters. I used to think nothing of it uh, when I was younger. I was like, give me more. I'm fine. Give me every other night. I'll do it. And now as I, you know, get older, I'm like, God, these, these, they're getting a little bit tougher. But, um, but for all in all, just like every specialty, I think the rumor is that vascular is terrible. It's really not. Vascular is awesome, and you can, um, if you're in a big practice, your call may be very infrequent. If you're going to a small town, or it's just you and another person, or maybe three, you're going to be Q3, and that's going to be a little bit different. So I think it really matters where you are um, as far as what your lifestyle is going to look like. Yeah, um, so I would say I, I kind of think it's interesting, this like lifestyle questions, because I, I really don't believe there's an actual balance. It's really more like of integration. I honestly, I don't know, maybe Dr. Rajan and Dr. Berlin are different, but I've never been able to be 50-50, you know, not in, I got to work, you know, work in home and not with like my husband either. My husband is a cardiologist as well, and he has, uh, we have a couple of little ones. So I think it really matters the practice you join. Um, you know, vascular surgery can be hard in the sense that we deal with sick patients and in the sense that, you know, you're taking care of people and you're responsible for their care and it can be stressful at times, but not, not any different than any other specialty that, you know, takes care of folks in general. Um, but it really depends on, on your practice and the partners that you have and, and how many people are in there to be able to kind of rearrange things so that you can be present to what you want to be. I do believe that there's different stages in your career. Um, you know, I remember when I just started, I was so aggressive. I wanted to be operating all day, all night, because I felt like that was what's going to give me, you know, like this confidence and wanted to just make sure that I felt like really good about taking care of people. And at that time, I didn't have kids and so forth. So I was like, you know, nobody needs me. I mean, I guess my husband did, but, you know, he was working hard too and so forth. So that was kind of like the time when we were like just in the hospital all the time and, you know, me meeting patients and so forth and working on your, your academia and your research and all those things. But then, you know, as, as your life changes and other opportunities come your way in terms of your career development, in terms of your professional endeavors and your family needs, you really have to make some adjustments and you really have to say, okay, do I really need to, you know, kill myself to, to do this? Or do I really need to invest in myself to develop myself professional? My, my kids need me, you know, this particular season, I need to be, you know, more uh, present with them and be more intentional as to what that means. And that it comes to, you know, rearranging your schedule or blocking some clinics or making sure that you're present there. So you really have to do that because if you don't, you're going to be in the hospital all the time. I'll tell you this, like the work is going to be there every single day, every single night. If you want to kill yourself at work, you can do it. Uh, but I think that's present. That's true for, for every specialty, right? That takes care of people in the hospital. We do see emergencies. So, you know, when you're on call, you're going to come in and operate and so forth. But you really have to take care of yourself and be in a group that they take care of each other. And that's the beauty of vascular too. Like, honestly, I'm surrounded by great people. So that's the other thing why we're vascular surgeons, because, you know, like if I was to join a group with Dr. Rajan and Dr. Berlin tomorrow, I know that I'll be in good hands and I know that I'll, you know, that I know that I will help them and I know that will help me. And that's sort of like how, how we work. So I think that these, 
lifestyle question is really very much about what stage in your career you are, what's important to you, what are your family needs if you have family and or if you don't also, you know, you have to take care of yourself. Uh, at the end of the day, just think that uh, it's a privilege to take care of these people. We, we're, you're going to be working hard towards it, but also in order to be able to be the best doctor you can be, you have to take care of yourself.